Hello, everybody. I hope you're having a good day. Uh, I'm going to try something new today. In the past, I was creating videos with uh, subtitles and captions on the bottom. Um, and I didn't, I'm not sure that was the best way to create those lessons because you might be working on one screen where you're going to have to flip back to read those captions and then flip back to your WordPress site to, to do whatever the uh, video says. And then you're pausing and hopefully this is easier for you because now you can just listen to the sound of my voice while you're working on your rep WordPress website. And if you have any questions, you can go back to the video and, and get a visual on where we're at and then go back to what you're working on. But for those of you who want to hear the, my voice instead of having to flip back and forth to read, uh, I hope this is easier for you. If you like the old way better, please let me know um, because, uh, you know, StreamYard costs money. Um, but anyways, uh, I figured this might be easier for you. Uh, today, we're going to go over WordPress menus. We've, we've learned how to create posts. We've learned how to create categories. Uh, we've chosen a theme. Hopefully, you've done all of these things. If you haven't, uh, please go back to the original lessons. Get through them. Uh, they're very easy, I hope. And now that you've had, uh, you basically created the foundation and you're learning about how to create content, now we can organize that content so that when people visit your website, they know how to use your website and they can find the things that they want to find information about. Uh, content is information. Content is pictures, news, um, information, uh, uh, events. Um, content is you know whatever you can put on your website that people want to read or look at or use. So the website that I've created for WordPress is the GHS Computer Science website. Uh, so I've created categories in the past that I think I will use. And hopefully you've created categories that you think you will use. After today, you might want to change your categories depending on, on, on what you see. And that's fine. Um, you've learned how to create categories and you can go back and create more categories or delete some categories because you want to trim things down. So let's go to our WordPress menus customization by going to the customize on the left toolbar. You're going to click that and you're going to see all of the settings. We're going to go to menus. Now, when we talk about navigation, I want to make sure you guys understand what navigation means. When we navigate to a certain section of our site, we're going to the, the parts of information that we're looking for. So with Gonzalez High School Computer Science, um, right now I have a setup as home, news, events, information, and contact. If you go to, uh, if you're creating a, a, a recipe website, you might have home, um, news, because maybe you want to talk about uh, news regarding your website. Like today we are um, going to meet with Chef so-and-so. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, today we are going to um, sign a contract with this company. Stay tuned. So that those might be your news bits. You might have events. Uh, you know, on on May fifth, uh, we're going to have a demo uh, on our YouTube page. You know, because of the whole coronavirus thing. Uh, so you know, check that out. Here's a link to our YouTube page. Uh, you might have uh, what. What I have uh, is information. You might have recipes instead, and we'll go over this later. This, these are called drop downs because when I hover over, not when I click, but when I hover, which means I just put my mouse over, uh, you have the about intro. You have these other menus that drop down from the main menu, and then the contact page, which is how people um, will contact me. So these menu links uh, navigate users to parts of the website that will give them specific bits of information. So if we go back to the menus portion, uh, click on the one that says currently set to primary. Yours might be called menu or prime menu or something else, uh, but just click that one. That's the one that you're using that's currently set up. You can change the name if you want. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it because you know if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Uh, yours will look different. I've already changed my menus. Um, 
yours might look something more like this. So let me delete these. Notice how on the right side it tells you what kind of um, link it is. So right now we have the home about contact. You might have something called blog. Uh, I deleted it um, just for reasons. Uh, the home page, if you click on it, this is the link that will take you back to your home page, right? Uh, you have your about section. So if I click about, it's going to take me to a page uh, where I'm going to change the picture and change all of these things to introduce myself and 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 give information on who I am. Uh, if I go to the contact page, it's going to be um, it's going to have a lot of information that I'm going to I'm going to change so that um, you know if someone wants to send me uh, samples or something, they can uh, take that address or they can send me an email. There's ways to change this so that this will go directly to our email. So you know, um, if I'm on your website, I will put my name, not your name. Uh, I will put Jacob John J J U N at Gonzalez.k12.ca.us. Uh, I don't have to put this in there, uh, but I might put uh, hello. Uh, I would like more information about your recipes. Now submit. You'll get something in the email and. Based on their email, you can email them back just by replying. And you can say, hey, what kind of information would you like? Uh, what kind of recipes are you interested in? Uh, I have a cookbook that I'm selling for $14.99. All right. So these are the pages that uh, you probably already have. What we're going to do is add specific things based on the categories we've already created. So if you've created categories... Uh, and I hope you have. If you haven't, please go back to that lesson where uh, I taught you how to create categories. We are going to change this to better organize our website. So we're going to click this Add Items button. We're going to see a bunch of pages, posts, categories, and tags. We're going to go to the Categories dropdown. And those are the categories that we've already created. So I'm going to click the plus button on the ones that I want to add. And they appear here and they're gonna change your preview. If you look in your preview window, you're gonna see that your navigation, your toolbar has added all of these categories. So now when I click events, it's gonna give me all the posts about events. It's gonna give me all the posts about information because remember when you're creating your posts, you're gonna check the boxes of of the categories those posts will belong to. So if I create a uh, uh, an award, if I create a post about an award ceremony for the kids of Computer Science AP, I might check the box for news, and I might check the box for Computer Science APA, so that when someone clicks news, they're going to get all the posts about news, and when I click Computer Science APA, they're going to get all the posts about Computer Science APA. Now, if I click Intro to Computer Science, because the awards were given to the APA students, you're not going to see that here. I hope that makes sense. You're, you're being very specific about who's going to get that content, right? Uh, if, if I click Information, you know, they're not going to get that information, because that's not... Um, what I deem is information that I want to organize for this website. I want information about each of the subjects, not so much about things that happen today or tomorrow, just basic information. Um, and this is something that you will have to decide. You don't have to follow my suggestions, but think about how to organize in a way that makes sense, right? If you have a recipe website going back to food, you might have um, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So you might have a, a toolbar called uh, a, a navigation item piece that says recipes. And if I click recipes, it'll have all the recipes. But let's say I, I only want to know how to cook breakfast foods. You might want to have a breakfast section only. So I click recipes, it's everything. I click breakfast and it only gives me the breakfast recipes, right? So when you create a post about, let's say, uh, 
Eggs Benedict, you'll click Recipes and you'll click Breakfast. So if they hit Recipes, it's everything. If you hit Breakfast, it'll only, it, only the breakfast post will show up. So we have your menu items here in the preview window, and we have them in order here. So if I change the order, if I bring about to the bottom, it's going to change it all the way to the right. So top to bottom, left to right. It's a little cluttered. I, I, I think we can change uh, the way this looks and, and make it a little bit trimmed down. Uh, and and but we can do that by creating drop-down menus. So I like where home is. Home is first. I like having about and contact at the bottom or to the right because people don't always use the about and people don't always use the contact. You might read the about section once, but if you're constantly coming back to the website, you're not going to keep reading the about section. These, the first uh, set of links are the ones that you're going to use the most. And usually the last two, you, you're going to kind of leave alone. So I like having home first. I like having about and contact last. Uh, you might decide to have about second. Uh, and WordPress, this part is a little weird with, uh, I, I think it, it might be a Chrome issue. So if, if you have a situation like this where it's just not going where you want, see how it's indented and it's not going all the way to the right? Sometimes it does, but it's it's a little fidgety. You might have to do it the, the slow way by putting everything to the bottom. So let's say I want to put about second and it's not fitting there. You know, it's just not going. Uh, you might have to drag and drop all the way until it goes all the way to the top. And I, I know that that's kind of uh, inconvenient, but, you know, we, we got to make do with what we got. Right. So now we have the about section at the, right here and contact at the end. If you want to put your about in the front, that's fine. Um, but if you go to, you know, go go to websites around the Internet and see what they're doing. Usually, I think they put about and contact at the very end. So. I'm going to put about and contact at the very end. Um, and it's shooting up for no reason. There we go. Okay. So we got news, events, information, intro to computer science and computer science APA. I kind of like the way that looks so far because news is usually uh, spur of the moment. Uh, this is what's happening now. Uh, events are a little bit more permanent. And information is is a lot more permanent, right? Um, I think we can change this menu a little bit to condense it because there's just so much stuff here. Uh, and that's how, we do that by creating a drop-down menu. And drop-down menus can be created by taking items and sort of indenting them under the what we call the master menu. So right now, information is the master. Uh, I want to put Intro to Computer Science and Computer Science APA, and maybe even the About. I want to put that in as information as well. So now we have a more condensed menu. It's a lot more organized. It's a lot easier on the eyes to see because it's just one row. Uh, people aren't getting confused about what all these other things are. So just going over what we just did, uh, we created a navigation menu. We organized things into it. Um, if I click news, if I click home, you're going to see probably every post you've ever created. So if you had, uh, if you did a hundred posts, a hundred days, um, one for each day, you're going to see a hundred posts. If you keep scrolling all the way down and it's going to be in order of newest at the top, oldest at the bottom. Now, someone coming to my website might want only news. They don't want to have to read, um, scroll down through all of these things and, and have to read the headlines and go, oh, that's not what I want. That's not what I want. That's not what I want. Maybe they just want news. So maybe you're doing shoe website and you're, you're talking about drops, right? And drops are, you know, I don't, you might not care about drops that happened three years ago. You want to know about the latest five drops and you don't want to scroll through a hundred posts to find those five drops. So you might say, well, I want to just read about news. They click news and there they are. Just one, just two, maybe five. Um, maybe they only want events. Now, I haven't written any posts about events, so this, I'm going to get this placeholder. Um, but this is how you're going to organize your website. Now, with the drop-down menus, 
They can click information and they're going to get all of the information. If they want only specific parts of information, so let's say they only want intro to computer science information, then they click this. If they want APA information, then they'll click this. I hope that makes sense. Okay. Um, if it doesn't make sense, uh, take out a piece of paper and, and think about um, how you can split information. Meaning, uh, let's say you're going to do a, a website on shoes. You might have brands as instead of information. And then in, inside of brands, you'll have Nike, Reebok, Vans. So if they click inform if they click shoes, they'll get all of your shoes posts. If they only want to read about Reebok, then they'll click Reebok. If they only want Nike, they'll click on Nike. And if they only want Vans, they'll click on Vans. Um, it's up to you to figure out how you're going to organize all of these things. Um, and don't be afraid of having to change your categories after doing this menu exercise. You might realize, uh, wow, uh, I should probably uh, add a few things here. I might want to add a few things here. So the assignment for today is to change your uh, to create your menu and change it, um, and to incorporate at least one drop down menu. You might have drop down menus for everything. If you look at IGN.com, they have uh, Xbox reviews, game release dates, news, uh, accessories, and then the next menu is PS4. And it's the same thing, news, reviews, accessories, release dates. And then you have Switch, uh, news, reviews, uh, release dates, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You might want to create drop downs all across the board, but try to make it look nice. Try to make it look very organized um, because when someone goes to your website, they want to find information, right? You're going to create content that you want to deliver. You want people to read it to look at it, to see it. If you're creating a site about memes, um, you might want to organize the memes a certain way. You might have pictures and it's, uh, you know, Willy Wonka memes, uh, Arnold memes, however you want to do it, right? Um, but just keep it clean. Make sure that it's presentable because we don't want, uh, you know, what you do on your own time, creating your own websites is your own, but what you're turning into the school and how you're representing the school, please make sure that, uh, you know, we are representing as Spartans and, um, you know, we're putting our best foot forward. So hopefully this made sense. Hopefully this is easier. The video came out a lot longer than the other videos. Um, but hopefully this gives you more information on the hows and the whys, because I think the past videos were kind of do this, you're done. Uh, this is more of a why we're doing this. Um, and I think that will help you long term to understand why we're doing what we're doing. Uh, if you have any questions, please email me, contact me through Google Classroom, or come stop by at the Zoom Classroom from 8 to 1.30, Monday through Thursdays. The link is in your Google, your Google Classroom. Um, if you want to just hang out, or if you have nothing else better to do than uh, to talk to me, um, I'm here just hanging out. So let me know if you need any help. Uh, hopefully this explains uh, this part of Word, Word, WordPress uh, adequately. Um, so until the next lesson, I'll give you guys a couple days to work on this. And there's no due dates, so don't worry about finishing it. Just make sure that you're working on things. This is a work in progress. There will be a due date for the WordPress website, but you guys will have uh, uh, ample notice for when it's due. Hope you guys are safe. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, and again, if you have any questions, please contact me. And one last thing, don't forget, you got to click save changes when you're done. Because if you don't, it's not going to save and you're going to have to do everything all over again. All right. Thanks, guys.